بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم I'm Fatma Sumro Assistant Professor Government College for Women Shah Aliyakat Karachi Before going to start my lecture I do appreciate College Education Department for such commendable initiative to provide opportunity to continue academic activities by using modern technology and that is also is the dire need of time moreover such healthy activities will be helpful to develop interest among the students as well as teachers now let's start my lecture it is a brief introduction of economics the content of my lecture is consists what is economics various definitions and the nature and scope of economics the word economics is derived from the greek word oikos and neman oikos means home and neman means management and when we combine these two words we are getting a complete meaning of economics is household management to organize household management we are using human resources such as abilities knowledge skills education experiences wisdom and by using these abilities we are producing non human resources such as goods and services money community facilities hospitals schools colleges roads dams etc those activities which are undertaken to produce goods and services to make them available to society to earn income money or wealth which and which are performed in exchange for money or things of value to satisfy wants or economic activities this process involves not only the production of goods and services but their distribution among the various members of the community now the question is why why do human perform such activities because man is a bundle of desires and goods and services satisfy these wants that's why economic activities are carried from beginning to end now comes to the definition of economics according to the various definitions we are classified them as wealth definitions by adam smith in 1776 welfare definitions by alfred marshall in 1890 scarcity definitions by lionel robbins in 1932 growth development definitions by paul samuelson by De 1948 and modern definitions by sc das in 2011 wealth definition adam smith is regarded as father of economics and in his famous book an inquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nations he defined economics as a science which inquires into the nature and cause of wealth of nations he emphasized the production and growth of wealth is the subject matter of economics welfare definitions according to alfred marshall he says economics is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life it examines that part of individual 
and social action which is most closely connected with the attainment and with the use of material requisites of well-being then scarcity definitions in 1932 it is the most popular and well accepted definition of economics according to robbins economics is the science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternate uses then we are getting growth or development definitions in 1948 and according to samuelson economics is the study of how man and society choose with or without the use of money to employ the scarce productive resources which have alternative uses to produce various commodities over time and distribute them for consumption now and in future among various people and groups of society it analyzes the costs and benefits of improving pattern of resource allocation and in the last we are we have choice making or modern definitions that comes in 2011 by professor ac das and according to him economics is the study of choice making by individuals institutions societies nations and globe under conditions of scarcity and surplus towards maximizing benefits and satisfying their unlimited needs at present and future now the subject matter of economics by studying such definitions we can conclude it that economics is a social science concerned with the production distribution and consumption of goods and services and it studies how individuals businesses governments and nations make choices on allocating resources to satisfy their wants and needs trying to determine how these groups should organize and coordinate efforts to achieve maximum output now the nature of economics economics is defined as the study of choices by all in maximizing production and consumption benefits with the given resources of scarce and surplus for present and future needs that's why by nature economics is a subject is experiencing continuous growth now there is a train storming there is a quick quiz for you identify economic activities there are some activities before you and you have to identify which activities are known as economic activities Thank you so much and be safe